when you're creating a PowerPoint presentation and you have lots of images and, and um, maybe objects, videos, that kind of thing, sometimes the file can become quite large. You can see I've got three slides, but if I go into the file tab, you can see the size and the properties says it's 1.37 megabytes. That's um, a bit excessive and the reason for this in this presentation is because of this picture. So this picture, um, just a normal picture, if you buy pictures from the professional photo sites to use um, in your presentation, if your marketing department has given you some pictures to use, they can be massive, they can be huge, and they they can be blown up to probably like a, a one-story building, maybe sometimes even a two-story building without pixelating. That's how much information is in that file, which is why they're so large. So what we want to do is we want to take that and compress it down. And what I'll do is I can add another picture, first of all. So I'm just adding the same picture in second time on a different slide and I'll put it in a different spot and I'm going to go into the file tab and if I saved it again it should increase my size now it's 2.28 so now what I do is I select a picture on one slide and I get the new pictures uh, tab and I click on the format the format and I go into it's this little one that looks like a picture with little arrows on the sides sometimes if you have a, um, a different resolution or a longer area that you can uh, see the ribbon you'll actually see compress and so I'm going to click on that and I get my little pop-up that says do I want to apply it to this picture and if I untick that it means it's going to apply it to every picture within this document uh, presentation. Also, delete cropped areas of pictures. If I've um, cropped something and I want to get rid of everything outside of that because maybe I cropped a huge amount, I only have like a centimeter out of a huge massive document, uh, a picture, then I can delete that and it will again compress more my target output, so how many uh, dots per inch or how much resolution, it depends. Do you want to print it out? Do you want to see it on screen? Is it going to be emailed to somebody and they're going to look it on, on the computer? If it's going to be projected, I choose either screen or print. So I'm going to choose print and let's see what that does. Click on OK. And I'm just going to save this again and go into file and I've now moved down to 1.41 so that's that's just condensed my presentation by quite a lot so imagine if I'd made it even smaller so I can go through and do an email and again I'm just going to save this and I'm now down to 529 kilobytes Remember, as long as you, you select to, to do all pictures within the presentation, you only have to do this once. Now, you can, if you add any pictures after this point, they won't be compressed and you'll have to do this again. Okay, so this should be the last thing you do or you have to do it multiple times. And that is compressing picture sizes.